deja tu corazón en paz. Look. The walls are thinner now. My hands hold on to the noise you left. The loss deafening the room. Look. There's a fire under the Persian rug. There is a line of silver glowing around your cigarette. Give me a lily. Tell me the story about the moon when it moved our bodies to make a place for the dove in the back of our hearts. When I was 18 years old, I went on a trip with my parents to Andalusia and I was so taken by the landscape, the endless olive trees, the Mediterranean nature, obviously I felt connected to the landscape which reminded me very much of my own homeland in Palestine. And I had not read Lorca before going to, to the south of Spain. That summer was the first time I read him. I think the first poem I read was uh, at five in the afternoon. There was something about his poems that I instantly connected to. I don't think at that time I knew what they were. But of course, the lyrical aspect um, of Lorca was just incredible to me. When I went back to Boston, to university, I continued reading Lorca, and I had many you know, exchanges with my professors about his work. I actually even wrote my, my thesis, I eventually wrote my thesis on Lorca. And he sort of stayed in my life, but in the background. Now, I had this a close connection to Darwish, who was a great admirer of Lorca. In 2008, I met up with some poets from Malaga. And at that moment, I started reading a lot of uh, poetry from Andalusia. And I realized that there was so much coming from that region that nobody knew about, that wasn't translated yet, and I really wanted to revisit Andalusia. So this is almost 20 years later. I decided to recreate Lorca's journey in reverse. So I'm, I'm really having this conversation at many different levels about history, about the past and the present. I mean, Lorca, when he came to New York, it was in the early 20th century. And here I was in Andalusia in the early, 20, early 21st century. What were the similarities? What were the differences? I found that we were speaking about uh, very similar things at certain level, very basic things. Uh, when it dealt with uh, peace and war, for instance. And at the same time, we are living in a time where there's technology. When Lorca, Lorca sent letters home to his parents about his journey. I was using the internet. I was writing everything, you know, on my computer. And it w it's a very different relationship that you're having with, uh, with yourself and with the world. One of the most fascinating moments was when I got to Cordoba. Now, I had gone to Cordoba when I was 18 years old, but this time it was even more powerful. It actually felt like being in the old city in Jerusalem because there was the, the Jewish uh, area and the Muslim area and the Christian area and inside the small little town. And I was looking at their sort of like our New York time out, and I saw a rock band called Al-Handal, just like my name. And it was spelled exactly the same, H-A-N-D-A-L, but with the Al in front, just like in Arabic. I was very curious uh, as to where those boys got this name. So I you know, started researching, and I found out that actually Al-Handal, of course, I knew this in Arabic, it's a bitter medicinal plant, and some could call it bitter apple and uh, or bitter cucumber. It had the same meaning, and it used to be sold in old uh, uh, Arab pharmacies in Andalusia. Some say they still sell, sell it. 
this sort of made, made me think about just this heritage, um, the, the Arab heritage, the Islamic heritage that was in Spain, and how that connected me uh, with the past and the present, this rock band and myself, it just all came together. We are bare. Without flag and music, without guards and rulers, without singers and poets, without guitars and ouds, now is gone. And the sea too, and the sinners, now is gone. But not the wall of Cordoba, not the poems of Sufis or the Spanish language, not Andalusia, its pomegranates, almonds, oranges and oranges, its ancient walls and its heart, shoulders, tongue, back, arms, hand, its shiver all along absence. Deep in your eyes, that's where the trick is. Don't you see? Petal will petal. Leaves bend to the wind to accept their sentence. A white deer passes, and the myth, the wings, the tribes, the saints, and the gloom disappear in the drawings on the walls. I see Unamuno and his shadow on the wall, facing east. I see a boy listening to Cante Grande by the wall, facing south. And in the middle, I see the orange tree, that drawings a shape on the ground, and that gives a wing to a traveler, gives a simile to a poet, gives a memory to a shepherd, gives an image of a beautiful woman to a withered world gives a map of a labyrinth to a wanderer and breaks into sound. Who says we can be free? Everything we hear is the echo of a voice we can't hear. Everything we see, the reflection of something we can't see. The heart, like a star, gives light to the color blue, to the ruins of Cordoba, and by La Mesquita, by the walls, I give you Al-Handal to save you, and you say my name for me. <laughs>